Okay, Google, activate the XABCD Ninja Trader voice activation program. Ninja Trader voice activation enabled, voice print recognized, ready to accept your commands. So you remember those days when people used to yell into the pits? Four and four, four and Had me thinking what you could do with devices like the Google Home and ran a few tests and decided to do a little experiment. So let's go through some examples and I'll show you how it can work. Okay, let me just state the obvious for a sec because I know someone's going to say it. This is just an experiment, something I wanted to try under no circumstance am I going to do this in a live market because it is just an experiment at this stage and I'm not recommending anyone else does this. So if you want to know how to set up your own experiment, I'll tell you how to do it at the end of this video. But put your account in global simulation mode and play around in a simulation account. Okay, this video is to show you what is possible should you want to venture down that road. So let's start off with something simple. Okay, Google, short 100K of the Euro USD. Okay, shorting 100K of the Euro USD at the market on the SIM 101 account. All right, let's issue a command now with multiple tasks, such as placing an order, switching charts, and placing pending orders with an ATM strategy attached to it to, to add in that stop placement. Okay, Google, close the position on the Euro USD and switch charts to place a pending order long on the cable at 1.3372 with a stop at 1.3323 on the SIM 101 account. Okay, placed a pending long position on the cable at 1.3372 and a stop at 1.3323. All right, good. So this recognizes different terminology as you might have noticed from previous examples but we'll show you how instead of saying the AUDNZD we can use a more fluent conversational language and say something like okay Google short the market on the Aussie Kiwi at 1.0940 with a stop at 1.0950 okay shorted the Aussie Kiwi at 1.0940 with a stop at 1.0950 in the default account with the default position size okay great now you might want to use it for something other than placing orders so let's see what we can do with alerts okay Google place an alert at 1.0940 where an alert will sound if price crosses over the line okay an alert has been placed at 1.0940 if price crosses over this threshold Awesome. So it's really neat. Let's do this on futures now and watch how it will actually relay configured warnings. Okay, Google, change the chart to the current futures ES contract and short one contract at the market on the SIM 101 account. Okay, we changed the chart to the ES and shorted the market with one contract in the SIM 101 account. Careful, no stop order is on this trade. If you thought that was pretty neat, slap that thumbs up button, show me that you like it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close this trade now and we're going to have it recall whatever that last order was. Okay, Google, close the trade. Okay, trade closed. So it might be the end of the day or maybe the end of the week and you want to check your account balance so we can ask Google what our account balance is as well. Okay, Google, what is the balance of SIM 101? The current balance of SIM 101 is $110,256.42. This is a far cry from Google's average daily revenue, but keep it up. So if you want to start messing around with this, let me warn you, it is for people that do like to tinker while they're waiting for their next trade. Okay, You will need to learn some programs and they'll probably be new to you. It's not anything quick and dirty. You can easily spend hours messing around with this, but here's what you're going to need. A Google Home device, a mini device, any of those will work. An account with IFTTT or the app installed on your phone. You'll need a program called Auto Hotkey and a Dropbox account or some way of transferring the commands to your machine, to your PC, that will also be running NinjaTrader. The most difficult part is going to learn Auto Hotkey, and that's not a topic for this video as i'm sure there's tons of youtube tutorials far better than i could ever do on the topic um, but when you combine all this technology you can see it's pretty uh, quick with very little lag when you issue the commands into google home by the time it actually executes those commands on your computer 
Anyways, have fun trying this little experiment out if you do. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop them in the line. I do reply to all of them. So feel free to hit me up. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Don't forget to download our news indicator and our price line indicator. They're totally free. You can grab them little tools that can be added in to NT8. Uh, and, and of course, they're free for you to take. So enjoy those.